been a few months since we bought our big Sprinter van and began the conversion into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure filled life in Europe and beyond. We've so far managed to remove the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackle the minor rust, waterproof the trims, install a window, install a max air fan, install a skylight and add a visor. Next, we're gonna be taking on the insulated floor. And this is where you find us today, about to get started on the floor. We've already been to get the wood and the insulation. Now we just need to figure out where the battens are gonna go in relationship to the furniture. This will be where my bed goes. And the little shower cubicle is going to be about here. And, and there's gonna, gonna be, be two, two beds, beds above, above here. here. And this is where my seat will go. So we're gonna lay the battens in such a way that it gives more strength to the areas where the furniture will be so we can fix through the floor into the battens. <laughs> Right, so we've got all the um, cross members cut. We haven't managed to do the little in-betweeny bits. We're gonna have to leave that till tomorrow. We've run out of time. So what we've done is I've set this all out. We've marked it with pen. John and I are both gonna go at it with silicon guns. We've got OB1, which is like uh, CT1. It's the same ingredients. And we are going to get these fixed down. We're gonna put the old floor back on top with a load of stuff just to weight it down. And that's it, we're gonna leave it for the day. Weird at the moment, all over the place, is where two boards are gonna join on top. It's gonna have a lot of foot traffic, or foot traffic coming down the corridor. Let's get it glued. Right, that was a sweaty affair. <laughs> now we're gonna get some food. Leave all this weight on top of this, and that should work. Ding, ding, round two tomorrow. Good morning. Yes, it is the following day, and it's a lovely sunny day, actually. And we are about to empty all the stuff off, and uh, hopefully everything has set level. If it hasn't, well, you know, I can cut bits out and redo it. I shouldn't have to, but... I'm prepared for it, <laughs> let's put it that way. Then John and I are gonna get the um, cross members in, lots of those, and we're gonna try and do that rather quickly this morning because we've got another plan for today. What we're gonna do is get out as a family and we're gonna take a little trip out to Ikea because, first of all, I'm either always working or working on the van and we never go out as a family much anymore to do stuff. So we thought we'd make it a bit of a sort of Two birds, one stone. Family day out, I'll buy them lunch at Ikea, we can have a wander around, but we can also think about our design ideas for internal. Mostly about colour scheme, what we're gonna go with. Because very soon, I'm gonna be thinking about doing uh, a shelf across the front there. And once I do that, I'll be building it out of plywood probably, it's gonna need covering in some carpet. What colour carpet? Don't know. So we need to know this information quite soon. So I just thought it'd be a nice day out. We're gonna get Ella out of the house and we're all gonna go for a cruise in the little van. Uh, yeah, so in the meantime, I'm gonna clip you guys. Are you all right? Let's put you up here. Ugh. Are you all right there? Can you see? Good, right, you comfortable? Right, I'm gonna empty this out. John's coming to help me in a minute and uh, yeah. See you in a minute. Now, before anyone says anything in the comments, I know the van isn't level, so I can't use a level. I'm just seeing if they're level with each other. And it's turned out absolutely perfect, so I couldn't be happier. So we're gonna set it up like a little factory. I'm gonna measure a number over here. Then out here, I'll make the cuts with the chop saw, pass the cuts inside. And now we're in the van, ready to move them down.
Ta-da! There we go. Now, I know it looks a bit higgledy-piggledy, and why is that one there and that one that way? It all makes sense to me, trust me. There's things in place for shower trays, for kitchen units. There's lines where the uh, bit sheet supply are gonna meet up perfectly. Everything else is either reinforcement for walkways or at the back here, reinforcement, because this will be the storage area. Um, and otherwise just fillers, because that gap was just too big there. So we'll just put one across to fill the gap a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna leave this alone to dry and go to Ikea. Okay, here we are, we've made it to Ikea, and we've got the L with us, of course, because she's the one who's gonna be helping decide on some colors. John doesn't really give a monkeys. Um, so yeah, but first and foremost, we've got to run right the way through the place and get to the restaurant, because we're all starving and it's past lunchtime. Okay, we have food, we can finally relax. Oh, well, John certainly can anyway. Are you okay over there, mate? <laughs> we may be here some time. Look at John's hair. <laughs> Give him a camera. What's wrong with my hair? Give him a camera. It's How much have you got on your spoon there? I... 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 One hour later. <laughs> <laughs> Was that nice, El? <laughs> Was it? <laughs> Okay, we're done taking the Mickey out of Elle. Now we're going to see if we can come up with some interesting colour ideas. Elle, are you on the case? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, we've all just unanimously decided we really like this sort of colour scheme. You like that, Elle? Uh, yeah. It's very colourful, but it's not, like, clashing. It's not in your face, is it? No. It's a subtle, nice colour thing. It's a bit too gloomy. For that too gloomy? Personally, for me. I too... think that's a bit too nice, nicey, whitey, creamy for us, isn't it? Yeah, there's... it's like having a white t-shirt. You're just scared that you might get stuff in it all day. <laughs> that's a bit... Eh. Yeah. Nothing happening there for us, is there? We like dark all over. Oh my God, mm. Ella. Holy crap. Go on, get yourself in there. Emily would love this room. Emily would? Yeah. That's Ella's best friend, Emily. Oh, she likes... I this colour, yeah? I am like... <laughs> <laughs> Which is very nice. That's room. just weird. It feels like we're underwater. Okay, that's a bit... What's that one say Kinda to you? Kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> if Beetlejuice had an apartment, this is what it'd be like. You reckon? It's a bit really soulless, different. isn't it, Al? Don't you kinda, think? It's kind of depressing. It is, I agree with you. Like the food. Like your food. Like the cat. <laughs> Food. You didn't hear that. Uh, Elle's fish was depressing. John was like, oh, I really like the Ikea food. The meatballs were nice. And I'm like, yeah, it's not bad for a cafeteria food. Elle said her food made her sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dry. You know what it is? It makes me feel the need to step into the light, you know? <laughs> just like step outside, just into the sun for yeah. like a couple minutes. And then, I don't know, I just like, you know, a bit of colour would be nice. A bit of colour would be nice. Good. Yes, I agree. So oh, Ellie's oh. right. Well, that yeah, makes me. That makes me happy. That makes you happy. Colour there. Yeah, these kitchens are all very, very dark. Yeah, like, but I hear what I, you're saying, Elle. Yeah, They're I, I depressing. Love black. I love black, but yeah. Yeah, just, I love black. I wear just, a lot of black you know, clothes. Just but... don't, you know, make it your whole personality. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a fake window as well? Should we do a fake window? I'm not. Honestly, they've done a fake window and it just looks like it's just in terrace. It's just a house there. Like, <laughs> wouldn't you have palm trees or something? Just... I'm not that bad. So these are probably the mattresses we're going to buy for in the van. Now, they're not the cheapest, but we need to get a good night's sleep when we are living in the van, don't we, John? Does that work for you? He just fits on that, only just. <laughs> Right, this has been so beneficial. We've learned so much. Ella's actually learning a way around it. There's Emily's room. <laughs> but 
but we, we've come back this way on purpose because we really want to go and see that first bedroom we looked at because we all agreed on the colour scheme. So this it's is just really nice. brilliant. Really it's nice. nice. Really nice. It's nice. Ella <laughs> <laughs> can sense the room. I like there it. it is. I like it a lot. We like it, don't we? I like we? it a lot. We do. Are we it's all nice. still in agreement? This is the colour scheme we like. It's very nice. It is very nice. It's very nice. Okay, that was a great success and definitely worthwhile coming. I'm so happy we did. I did get Ella a 30 pound smile. <laughs> She's got herself a throw. That is the first item for when the van's finished. Now we've got a colour scheme in our heads. Elle really wanted a throw and uh, so we've got one that matches that colour scheme. We're all agreed on the colour now. We know what we want. That was so worth it. Right, got a little surprise for you. We're going for a little drive. Wait a minute. So, a little bit of a surprise for you because I didn't tell you this before. We are driving another 25 minutes past the IKEA shop, taking us across to Oldham near Manchester because I found a guy on Facebook who has single Mercedes Sprinter passenger seats. I don't know why he has them, but he has them at a good price and he doesn't have just the one that he's ripped out of his van. It's a garage where they're obviously ripping him out of a few vans and he's got a few to choose from. And he's selling them for a very reasonable 125 pounds, which is crazy because most people try to rip you off on eBay and Marketplace because they know people want these things for camper vans. So you normally see them going for like 400 quid, which is crazy. Oh, look at that kids, stretch limo. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's a really good price. I hope they're in good condition. Seeing as we've come halfway across the country to Ikea, we might as well go a bit further and uh, see what he's got. I probably won't film in there because I don't know him, he doesn't know us, but I'll keep you posted. We're on our way home. That was a successful mission. We have got, hidden away in the back of the van here, a single passenger seat for the Sprinter. Uh, it's got a white base, so it's gonna need spraying. But uh, yeah, mission success. But we are wiped out, we've had enough for the day, it's almost time to cook some food. We'll be home in about half an hour and we'll sign off right there and we'll see you all tomorrow. Yep, it's the following day and we're back at it, or at least John is, I'm talking to you guys. We've been at Gaming Club this morning where John goes and hangs out with some of his uh, home ed buddies and they do some gaming together at the library. Um, so as usual, we've got, after lunch, we've got about maybe two hours left of time to work on this. <laughs> so this floor, building this uh, insulated floor in this van is quite possibly the longest it's ever taken anyone to do it. We are now on day three. And let me show you something which is a bit embarrassing. And I do think it's because I sort of, I push myself too much sometimes because I know I don't always have the time. I'm being much more calm about things today and going, well, whatever, it's just gonna get done when it gets done. I've made a mistake. Me. <laughs> you haven't got your mic on. Um, we have got a full sheet of ply, well, not full, but a trimmed sheet of ply, which will be going that way and comes exactly to that strut there. Then we've got another sheet doing exactly the same to here, which is why these are located here. And then the way they do it, the way most people do it, which makes a lot of sense, is then you've got two more sheets and they go one here and one there with a line down the middle. But where is the baton down the middle, I hear you say? Hmm, whoops. So, yeah, I forgot about that bit, didn't I, completely? It looks beautiful. It's very, very precise, you'll notice. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just modify it very quickly. I will either take these two out and continue that line down there, because it doesn't have to be on the center and it can't really be anyway, because this is a real deep trough and I can't stick a piece of uh, baton there. So it's either continue this line straight up there or continue that one straight down here. I'm half tempted just to glue a couple in there and be done with it, but I might leverage these out. The glue isn't 100% soft, uh, hard yet. So anyway, 
John is very busy getting rid of all the excess glue so we can fit the ice, uh, isolation, insulation in. And that is also on the job list for today. Because of our time, I don't think we'll get it all done today, but that's not the end of the world. We've got a full day of it tomorrow. Um, apart from John might go to art club with Ella. Are you doing that tomorrow morning? Yeah. He says yes, he hasn't got a microphone on. So anyway, I'll get a full day on it tomorrow. That's enough waffling, I'm gonna go now. Okay, once again, the clock is beating us. Almost done, but I'm time up. I've got to cook. I've got pretty much all day tomorrow, I think, to be working on this and messing about with the seat, which I still haven't shown you yet. Come with me, come, come around here, look, look, look. Look at that hardworking young man. <laughs> so that is the seat base. That's all you get to see for now. You're gonna have to wait. So I'm done for today. There goes another one. We got close, we got close. So we'll uh, pick up with you again in the morning. Hmm, that's a mess that needs sorting out, isn't it? Well, so much for picking up with you again in the morning because it's actually, oh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon now. It was lovely and sunny this morning. I put my work trousers in the wash, put my shorts on thinking this is lovely. And then I got a few emails and things to do with work that I had to take care of. So I've been busy with them. And the next thing you know, it was lunchtime. I've had my lunch. I've got a cup of tea here on the side. And it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Never, ever get a full day on this, do I? Plus, I've got to sort that out. I, I can't work in that. It's crazy. Ah. And then what's happening with this weather? I have had to get my winter hoodie out. Uh, I put this away in storage. I thought I wouldn't need it anymore this year. Out it comes again. This is ridiculous. It's the middle of June. People wonder why I want to leave in this van and head to the south of Spain. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to very quickly get these last few bits of insulation in. I'm going to look at putting some uh, foam on there to insulate and sound deaden it. And I will get the uh, silver tape on, the foil tape. So it creates the vapour barrier and uh, that's gonna have to do for today because once again, the uh, builder's merchant has only got the bent ply, so I can't get any plywood. I'm, I'm <laughs> I need to look at that, don't I? I can't do any more work until that's sorted. <laughs> go the floor is insulated and we have put the uh, foil tape down over all the joints to give us a continuous vapor barrier this is going over all the joints up over the wheel arches and a couple of inches up the wall as well because once we've got the walls wired and insulated then we're going to be um, popping a vapor barrier up the walls as well also across the ceiling now there's two schools of thought on this one is all for it one is all against it the vapor barrier does what it says on the tin really, it stops any moist air from us breathing at night uh, and during the day of course, from get, coming into contact with the metal skin of the van and causing any corrosion later on. 
Now, some say it wants to breathe, and you're better off if there's air, if there's moist air gets in there, it needs to breathe and uh, escape. And then there's others say you don't want to let any get through in the first place. I am a big fan of Greg Virgo. If you've ever looked at any kind of van design and van builds, you'll have come across Greg Virgo. He is so knowledgeable on this subject. He's got whole videos dedicated to it with charts and graphs, and it's what he does. He's what he's done for a career all his life. Um, so he understands it. So I'm following what he says. But I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. If you've got experience in it, if you just want to throw in your uh, two cents worth and uh, tell me what you think, I'd be interested to hear before we get on to doing the rest of the van. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you to everyone who's involved with the likes and the subscribes and the comments and the Patreons and the coffee givers. It's just changing our world. And we're going to be able to go off and have adventures in the sunshine because of this. And uh, we're going to take you all with us. So for now, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.